Hello my dear students, welcome back to online class. Today we are going to discuss about breathing and we have already discussed about cellular respiration and today we are going to discuss the concept of breathing. Okay, so let's start. Breathing. Breathing can be defined as a process in which organisms with the help of their respiratory organs take in the oxygen rich air present in the surroundings and release out air that contains high amount of carbon dioxide in it and breathing occurs continuously in the organisms and this comprises of two process that is one is inhalation and another is exhalation inhalation is the process of taking the air that contains oxygen inside the body and exhalation is the process of releasing out air that contains carbon dioxide out of the body and inhalation and exhalation takes place alternatively in the breathing process now what is breathing rate that can be defined as the number of times a person breathes in a minute now can you differentiate between breathing and cellular respiration as we have learned that cellular respiration that is internal respiration that involves utilization of oxygen to release energy in the cells okay and removal of waste such as carbon dioxide water vapor producing during that process and it is a metabolic process of breakdown of glucose into carbon dioxide and water and this process takes place inside the cell and tissues and hence it is an internal process energy is released during cellular respiration but what happens in breathing that is known as external respiration and that involves taking in oxygen from inhaled air from the environment and releasing carbon dioxide by exhalation and it's the bodily process of inhalation and exhalation that is the breathing and this process takes place between the cells of the body and the um, external environment and hence it is an external process but cellular respiration was an internal process and here energy is not released okay so this is the basic difference between breathing and cellular respiration now as we already discussed that a breath can be defined as an inhalation followed by an exhalation so the breathing rate is not always constant or not always same in human body so we generally breathe faster when our body needs more energy for example while exercising and this is so because the body needs more oxygen that can break down the food and produce more energy and an average adult human beings breathes 15 to 18 times in a minute while exercising the rate can be changed up to 25 times a minute as we have already told that uh, breathing rate is not always constant in human beings and uh, breathing rate become more faster when we need more energy just like during our exercise okay next why do we feel hungry after doing physical activity like walking or running so the answer lies when we do physical activities the food that is present in our body that is converted into energy since all the foods get consumed in generating the energy we start feeling hungry hence in order to gain more energy we need to eat more food okay so here are the basic things now the mechanism of breathing in human beings as we take in air present in the environment through our nostrils which travels to the nasal cavity okay and then it moves through the windpipes and reaches the lungs and the lungs are located in the chest cavity which is surrounded by ribs here you can see the picture okay and correlate with these terms on the floor the chest cavity lays a muscle seat that is known as diaphragm here you can see what is diaphragm in this picture now 
what is the main mechanism of breathing so during the breathing process the movement of the ribs and diaphragm takes place and this is so because lungs expands and contracts during breathing and as we take in air it fills up the lungs and this moves the diaphragm downwards and the rib outwards okay so here the first picture from the left side this is during inhalation okay and what happens during exhalation the lungs when releasing out air from the body which brings back the diaphragm and the ribs to their original position okay so this is the main things which occurs during the breathing process that is inhalation and exhalation so during inhalation that leads to diaphragm uh, moves towards the downward position and the ribs outward and uh, during exhalation that brings back the diaphragm and the ribs to their original position okay so this is the main things now why do we sneeze as we inhale the air present in the surroundings sometimes various unwanted elements such as smoke dust are also included in it however they got stuck in the hair upon nostril but some of them cannot through the nasal cavity thus they cause irritation in the nasal cavity which makes us sneeze and this helps in getting rid of the unwanted particles out of the nasal cavity so that's why we sneeze okay i hope you understood this video if you have any problem ask me in the e portal thank you have a nice day